Welcome back. Listen, so many things have changed in the wake of this coronavirus, including people who are not going to be able to see their graduation. So for parents, how do you talk to those children who are maybe missing out on those big moments? Well, luckily this morning, we have our friend Susan Harrington. She is a licensed marriage and family therapist from Maison V. She is here to help us. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Susan. Good morning, Malik. It's lovely to see you again, too. Of course, as always with you as well. You know, this is really personal to me because I'm looking at social media daily and I'm seeing so many parents who are really heartbroken, you know, that mm -hmm. they're not necessarily going to be able to see a ceremony for their children graduating. How has this whole quarantine experience really affected children specifically? So, you know, children get impacted ba directly from how their parents are behaving. So as parents, when we begin to struggle with our emotional well-being and get a little more irritated, a little more frustrated, and a little more quickly, then what happens is the children feel that impact. They require us for their development to be uh, stable in our emotional mental well-being. Not 100% of the time, but the large majority. And so when we're not that way, what happens for them is they will begin to do the behaviors that will get your attention. Mm. whether that's misbehaving more or withdrawing more so that you worry about them. They'll do one or the other. It happens for sure. You know, and of course, a lot of people right now, you know, I was lucky enough to go through graduation. You probably as mm -hmm. well, as well as many parents. We can't really empathize with them because we had that graduation ceremony. What are some of the tips you can tell us about how we can talk to kids who may be missing out on this accomplishment? That's a really great point. We've been noticing a lot of effort the teachers have been making to drive by their students' homes and vice versa now with the Teacher Appreciation Week. What's really important is that acknowledgement that happens from that process. So when we acknowledge the experience someone's having, um, they're upset about it, angry about it, sad about it, uh, whatever it is specific for a person, that that's the first primary thing. Just acknowledge, yep, that's a pretty awful thing. You didn't get to have it because this is a loss. It's very important. We lose these things that are really important. It's also important that we don't minimize whatever their experience is. One child may be angry and, and very angry. We don't minimize it, but acknowledge that that's really happening. It's I also think that's a really great tip right there. So don't try to fix the negative emotion because I know for a lot of parents, you know, they're like, they just want their kid to feel mm -hmm. better. So mm -hmm. we shouldn't try to fix that negative emotion. No, because fixing it only tells you it's not true. You shouldn't have it. Um, we shouldn't try to don't feel that way, don't feel bad, because when we say don't feel bad and we're having a grief-related reaction, then what happens is, is we learn not to have that feeling. And that's what leads to things like addiction. Um, and so it's not an absolute uh, result of it, but it's one of those things we find that happens. They go to a negative behavior more often when they don't get to express it themselves. So it's really important not to ignore it, not to try to fix it and make it go away. It's I think also, that is a great tip. That is a great tip. Thank you. Um, it's also really important for parents not to make their feelings bigger than their child. Yes, it's a loss for the parent as well. You got to have your graduation, like you said before. And just because the parents are a really big part of kids getting through high school um, and they having their own emotions, this is the child's event. And so for that teenager, I don't want to minimize the age of the, the kids, the teenager who's having this experience, they're crossing into adulthood. This is a 12 year commitment that they've made to their life and their future and their parents as this is your job, going to school and doing your schoolwork. And now they've completed it. They've shown a commitment for 12 years, acknowledge the value of that. More and you than know, it, it is a celebration, you know, 12 years. Mm -hmm. How can families get creative with celebrating this accomplishment? Because even though there may not be a ceremony, you can still celebrate because we're still getting that diploma. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, we, we do have various things that are happening. People are thinking so amazingly outside of the box. So these parades that happen that are really important to mark the accomplishment. We really want to say you did it. Hallelujah. Congratulations and make a big to do. They can be creative. Um, you can have everybody in that senior class send to each other a video link celebrating and, and throwing hats up in the air and doing all these things on video and sending it to each other. You can delay having a party. You can have a drive-by. You know, that's a negative word in New Orleans, but we are making it a positive word. We're reclaiming that term drive-by to be more positive. 
And so that's a really cool thing. We can do things that are much more creative. They're putting signs out in the yards, doing all these things. Someone told me today, sign the sign business, the printers are making a fabulous comeback because all the signs that are out. We can do these creative things and think out the box. The one that I love the best is have somebody sing Pomp and Circumstances. Yeah. You know, that's like, just get it going on. Do it. Have a valedictorian speech. Everybody can be the valedictorian. And of course, we know a lot of people are giving virtual valedictorian speeches like the mm -hmm. Obama. So even though 2020 graduation is looking a little bit differently this year, you can still celebrate that. Again, big tip, communicate to your kids. That is great. Susan, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You're welcome. You're welcome. And let us know if we can be any help at Maison V. We're more than happy to do that. Thank you so much, Susan. Those were some great tips. Hey, if you want more information about the services offered by Maison V, you can log on to MaisonVNewOrleans.com or give them a call at 504-452-5937. And again, some graduation celebrations have been postponed. Doesn't mean they're not going to have them yet. You just have to wait and see. But again, just communicate to your kids. Stick with us, my friends. We'll be right back.